75, 100. The angelfish are checking him out right now. Oh my goodness. What is up everybody? I gotta do an old intro how I used to do them because this video is so, so, so dang hype. We got one of the coolest fish that we've ever purchased on this channel in the 60 gallon. It's acclimating right now. I'm gonna show you guys just that in a second. First, here is the footage of us going to the pet store really quick and picking up this amazing fish. Ooh, here we go. Wow, that is so beautiful. Such a weird looking fish, right? Wow. That is freaky looking. Oh my God, look at that beta fish. Wow. Welcome back to the house. So, as you guys saw at the pet store, we got this amazing ghost knife fish. Look how cool this fish is. I've never seen a fish this cool looking. Just look how beautiful, like the ripples are, like when it's swimming, like that is like the coolest, most freaky fish I've ever seen. Molly, what do you think about the new fish? She's wobbling over here like a pig. She's excited for her turkey tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, easy, girl. Yeah, but I wanted to get home really quick. So that's why I didn't film so much. I just literally was at the pet store, shot home, got him in the tank so he's acclimating. So there's no stress really involved because I want this fish to be as healthy as possible. I just wanted to get it in the water and I cannot wait to see him swimming around in this beautiful 60 gallon aquarium. And I know what you guys are saying. Ghost knife fish are an aggressive fish. I know that. I've done a little research before purchasing. Molly, do you mind? You're making a lot of noises and I'm trying to film a video over here. Go lay down, go. Hey, go. See you later, right? Eh? I was reading that they are carnivorous fish, but this one is not that big. All of these community fish in this tank are pretty decent size. They're not like really, really small. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about anything at the moment. This is my first ever big fish tank, but I think it's time to upgrade the fish tank, guys. This is a 60 gallon. What do you honestly think that we should get next? 75, 100, what do you guys think? Because I wanna upgrade. We have this whole wall right here. The TV's right there. We could easily move that table. It's really not even supposed to be there. Literally, we have this huge wall. Should this just be like a ginormous fish tank? And if we did do that, what should it be? Should we do another community tank? Should we do like aggressive fish? Honestly, I'm gonna need your guys' help down below. Oh look, the angel fish are checking him out right now. That is just like the coolest fish I've ever seen. It. So he's been in here for about seven minutes, honestly. He's been in this tank. I wanna leave him in here for about 15 to 20 just to be safe. Maybe even leave him in there a little bit longer. I don't want this fish to get stressed out. I'm really hoping that he chills like behind this big plant. Maybe even goes like in this little log right here. Maybe even goes like in this little jar right here. Because the lady at the pet store said that that fish was in that little tank for about two months. And last time I went and this time I went to go see the fish, he was in the same spot hiding in like a little log. I think she just farted when I picked her up. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked that up, but you need a haircut, girl. What are you, growing your hair for the winter? Guys, this is Molly. She's a Pekingese. You guys probably know her by now, but she just wants to say hi. So we're gonna let this fish acclimate, and I'm gonna see you guys after when we release the ghost knife fish into his new home. But by the way, guys, if you guys are enjoying the daily content, I know I haven't been uploading like in the past two days. I was supposed to stay daily, but my editor got sick, and it is what it is. The content is coming back really strong. I have a really important video December 1st, so be ready for that. I'm gonna be talking about like a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades that we're gonna be doing, and we're gonna be talking as a community. You guys are gonna be helping me decide what we're doing with all these tanks and ponds and like new fish. So I'm really excited to make that video, but I'm gonna see you guys in about 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, the time has come. We're gonna be adding our new ghost knife fish to the aquarium. Like I said, this is one of the coolest fish I've ever seen. I wanna get him in and then we'll talk more about him once he's in the tank. I don't wanna stress him out. He's been in this bag for like 20, 30 minutes. We gotta get him out. We're gonna be putting him in. All right, here we go guys. I wanna do this nice and gentle. Yep. He went right behind the plants like I said. Yep, there he is down there. Right next to the Garami. Oh, look at him go over there. Oh my goodness. That is the coolest fish I've ever owned in my life. Oh. 
I'm sorry guys, the lighting is terrible. I'm trying to do the best I could downstairs. I got the ring light, I got a light over there. It's late. As you guys know, I get off work kind of late and it gets dark way earlier now. But I'm still trying to give you this amazing content. And tonight we got the coolest fish I've ever owned and I'm actually so happy, so excited. And I hope you guys are as well. We need a name for this ghost knife fish. So drop name ideas down below. Whatever one gets the most likes, that's gonna be the name for our new fish. You can actually see him swimming right there. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest fish I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna turn the lights off. I want him to get comfortable in this tank. I don't wanna stress him out. He's doing his thing, he's swimming around. I don't wanna be up in his face anymore, but guys, oh, there he goes. I'm really happy he's swimming around, checking out the tank. And like I said, I know this is a 60 gallon. He was in a way smaller tank at the pet store, but soon, on December 1st, I'm gonna be dropping a video. We're gonna be talking about getting a bigger tank and finally stepping it up on this channel. I really wanna take it serious now. I wanna upgrade every single tank. I wanna do everything the right way. And I want you watching to be a part of it as well. So thank you so much, guys. Name ideas down below. We're gonna be picking out a name for our new ghost knife fish. Also, before we go, I wanna put up a little picture of facts of the ghost knife fish right here. So if you guys wanna get this fish for yourself, Here's a little picture of like, of when you type it in on the internet. I'm gonna put it up right here for you all. I got the No Shave November on, and honestly, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you already know like the reveal that I'm gonna be doing. I shaved my entire head. I'm gonna be showing you guys that on December 1st as well. Like I said, talking about all the tanks. Really stepping it up, guys. It's time to step it up. We're almost at 12,000 subs. Enough is enough, no more slacking. And that's pretty much it. Shout out to this person right here. I could picture a monster tank set up downstairs in this living room, guys. The possibilities are endless, so let's make it happen. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day, peace! Oh, I always forget to mention before, like the, the actual outro. Follow me on Instagram, at casualprovids. I upload a lot of stuff. And you guys would have seen a little preview of this video before it even made it to YouTube. So follow me on Insta if you guys want to be a part of that. Check out all the links down below as well. Peace! <laughs>